All right, guys, even here with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about Rafael Brandao, if that is how you pronounce his name. And I'm going to talk about whether do I think he is supposed to go down to classic physique category. And I'm sure that if he watches this video right now, he's probably cursing at me in Portuguese. But Rafael, calm down. I did not say that you should do it. This is just a video when I'm talking about whether you should or not. So let's see. Let's see what do I think about it. And honestly, my opinion is... Actually, let's save it for the end. I'm going to say that you know that bodybuilding, I mean the open class, is the bread and butter of the sport. That's something that always existed. That's something that always was the point of bodybuilding. It always was get the biggest amount of mass and show the best conditioning and the best presentation, symmetry, proportions, lines, blah, blah, blah. The thing is, back in the 70s and 80s, classic physique was pretty much bodybuilding. It was pretty much the same thing. Everybody was looking classic because that was the maximum amount of muscle they were able to pack on. And now it's different. Now guys are building a lot more muscle in their frames. And by playing the size game, which is necessary if you want to win in open category, you get some side effects, such as losing the lines and the structure, gaining bigger stomach and so on. Fans didn't like that very much, and for that reason they created classic physique. When Nick Miller from Nick Strength and Power asked Arnold whether he would compete in open class if he was competing today, or in classic, he actually chose open, because the open is the ultimate category of bodybuilding. Phil Heath said that classic physique competitors are just weekend warriors. And actually it does make sense. Some of the classic physique competitors are doing classic physique because they don't want to push the envelope too much by doing the open category because they don't want to risk their health, their social life and so on. But there are also classic physique competitors who are actually not able to compete in open because they don't have the genetics to be that big. And for that reason, it does make sense for somebody to get insulted by saying this to him because it either means that he is not genetically blessed to be in the open or he is, quote-unquote, a weekend warrior. He doesn't want to push the envelope too hard, so he doesn't want to work hard enough. But the reason why I made this video is because I think that Raphael has an amazing classic physique. His lines, his structure is so beautiful that he could do great in classic. And the thing is, you know, we saw Regan Grimes competing in Classic and he did not place very well because he doesn't have the details in the muscles. Like Raphael does. And Raphael has them. For that reason, I think he would do great in, in Classic. And no, I don't think that he should stay there forever. I just think he should do it for one year like Regan just to see how he does there. And then he can go back to the Open Class because right now he's not quite there with the mess. Anyways, if you guys watched this photos while I was talking, of course you were. Uh, or maybe you just listen to the audio, I don't know. Anyways, you can see this pose that I don't really like of him. He is kind of trying to do a little twisted front double bicep and it doesn't really look that aesthetic or twisted. It just looks bended on one side. Like he's not able to control his posing. And I saw this also with Nathan Diasha, as you can see. It just looks kind of awkward. It's just not the way that you should do it. And while I was looking for this photo, I found <laughs> this photo and I thought this would be funny. Anyways, this is how you should do it. This is how you do it. Victor Martinez. And also like this, Kai Green, he does it properly. Also Frank Zane, amazing way. Anyways, let's see how Raphael looks like compared to the top guys. And as you can see, they're all dwarfing him pretty much. He came with an amazing conditioning. Amazing conditioning. If you compare him to Steve Kuklo here, you can see that he is looking aesthetically way, way superior. Steve is just looking like a mess. And all these other guys as well. Maybe he should have placed higher. But the size is a very important factor in this category, guys. You can't just ignore it. I'm sure he's gonna reach that level of muscularity eventually, probably in a few next years. But right now he's not there and it's not gonna happen in like one year. It's gonna happen in a couple of years. So why wouldn't he just take one year off of trying to grow and push the envelope and you know, just relax a little bit and try classic, you know, try to come detailed and shredded and that he is. He definitely has a whole bunch of details in his physique, definitely very lean, very aesthetic and I think, I don't know what about his weight and if someone you guys knows, I'm sure that there are Brazilians who know about his weight, tell me in the comment section below, I'm really wondering how much does he weigh and um, yeah, look at this pose, amazing, very, very, very aesthetic and I think if he can get into the weight cap and if he nails his conditioning, he can be our next Classic Physique Mr. Olympia. And yeah, he wouldn't be Mr. Olympia, but he would be Classic Physique Mr. Olympia champion, which is also a huge achievement and I think that would be a great step for him. 
And I would love to see that. That would be very exciting. Anyways, what do you guys think about it? Should he or should he not go? And that's about it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, like the video. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm posting new content every single day. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.